Hi, this is Jessica Mays, Infusionsoft Certified Consultant, and today I would like to show you how to create a branded email confirmation in Campaign Builder. Let's hop right into an Infusionsoft application. I'm on the dashboard going into Campaign Builder. I already have some of the basics set up just to save some time on the, on the video. So I've got this campaign. You are going to see two rows. You actually would need one or the other, but what I wanted to show you is what you can create in Campaign Builder using all the tools in Campaign Builder to send out an email confirmation. Um, and then also I want to show you uh, how to send one out that's branded. Okay, so first of all, let's get clear on what an email confirmation is. So um, very often people want to have people that are opting into their list confirm that they want to be on the list. So that's known as email confirmation. It's also known as double opt-in. So we've got here an opt-in form. This would send out an email that has a link asking them to confirm that they would like to receive this information. And once they click, you either deliver the information or in this case, we would tag for a newsletter. Okay. This, like I said, this top row, you can build using all of the, the information over here. I call this a toolbox. So all the tools in your toolbox. And I'm referring to this as option one. It is the fastest way to get an email confirmation up and running, but it's not branded. Let me show you what I mean. When we open up this sequence and we open up this confirmation email, you are gonna, you're not going to see any background color um, and things like that. So that's, that's what I'm talking about. You can't make a lot of modification to the confirmation email that you can grab and, and use right from Campaign Builder. Okay, so as this email is opening up, you're going to see that it just has a white background, it doesn't have any branding, and further, we can't add any. So if we go into layout and style, we only get the layout option, we don't get the style option, so we can't make those changes. Um, I will say that you can pick who it's from, you can pick your own subject line, and there's two, um, there's two paragraph snippets in here. There's this one and there's this one. The top one you can modify, the bottom one you cannot. So a few things happen. I've already been in here playing around. So up here I typed what I might like to say in the email and I put it in um, the Arial font. And then down here, I'm clicking right now, and you'll see I can't get into the paragraph snippet. I can't change any of the words in here. I can't change it. I think it's Times New Roman. I can't change it from there. Further, I can change the closing, and I can change my signature. So your best bet, if you were to use this, is to just kind of use it out of the box, because then all the fonts are the same, and it, it kind of, you know, the copy throughout flows. Um, but for me, I like to tweak, so I like the, the, the wording to be a little more from me sounding. I like to maybe have my company colors in here, and more of a formatted email, uh, more of a branded email, I should say, okay? So this email doesn't allow you uh, that kind of flexibility, all right? So I just want to be clear, it is perfectly fine to put together an email confirmation using the tools in your Campaign Builder toolbox. It is fast, it is easy, it will get the job done, okay? But there are definitely customers that want to create something a little more customized. And so that's what this role represents, is how you can do that, okay? So we're accomplishing the exact same thing here. People are opting in, they're being asked to confirm their email address, and once they do, they're being tagged for the newsletter. So this, I set up exactly the same as the top row. This is set up exactly the same as the top row. Down here, it's different. So rather than pulling out the email confirmation icon, you will pull out a regular sequence icon. That's what this is. And then you will end up pulling out a regular goal icon, which is this. OK, let's go into the sequence. Rather than ha having an email go out of here, you will put the icon for an action set right here. 
And then I've got this three-day timer simply because I'm really doing my best to create apples to apples here. So the, the, the one that you can set up with your tools in the toolbox um, also has a three-day timer. So that's what that's there for. That's not uh, something you absolutely have to put there. Okay, so the important thing is you have to have this action set here. And then we'll configure that further um, in a moment. And then you've got to have a tag, a goal icon here, and it needs to be a tag. Okay, let's start putting this all together. We're going to head out of Campaign Builder. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a custom opt-in link. So Marketing Settings is where you need to go. On the left, you will click on Automation Links. There are several boxes, and one of them is called Confirmation Links. If you click Create Opt-in, you can create your own customized opt-in link. I've already done it to save time, so I clicked that button and I created this, Email Confirmation Test. So let's take a peek at it. There are two things you're going to want to do. Number one, email appearance, which is where we landed when we opened this up. Down here, you can type in what you want that link to say. So in my email that people would receive to confirm, the link that they click on would say, please click here to confirm your request for the newsletter. Okay, I type that in myself. And the other thing you have to do is you need to configure an action. So the action that I'm configuring here is if they click that link that will be sitting in an email that we will build next, um, this tag will go on their record. They confirmed their email address. That's my own tag. You can use whatever wording you want. But you're going to want some sort of tag so that you can um, represent that in the campaign, move them forward, and tag them for the newsletter. Okay? So email appearance, you've got to you know, figure out what you want that link to say. Actions. You need to get a tag on there so that they come back into the campaign um, to continue moving forward. This confirmation page appearance. You can customize the thank you page that they land on. So when they click, yes, I would like to uh, confirm my interest in the newsletter, you can have a custom thank you page pop up. However, you're going to need a, a several lines of code, and you would put it right here in the source spot. So, I don't know how to write that code, to be honest with you. So I just have the default Infusionsoft thank you page pop up. I'm, I'm satisfied with that. So if you are too, then you don't have to worry about this tab. But you do have to do a little bit of work here at email appearance and at actions. All right. So we're going to save and close. Now we're going to head over and create the email that we do want to send out. So I, uh, you're going to want to do that in templates. So I'm heading over to templates, which is under marketing. Again, I've already done it to save some time, but if we were starting from scratch, what we would do is up on the right corner, add a template, we would select email, and we would start creating our email. I have it done already. It's right here. So we're going to open it up. Now, you can prep this however you wish. So you're going to see I have a green background. I've got the Maze Consulting Group header on the email. Um, I've written my own copy. It's very, very basic because this is just for, for this demo webinar. Here's the thing that you need to do. Is you have to merge in that automation link that we just created. Okay, I know this is opt-in underscore 19. Don't worry, it will say what it's supposed to say when you're all done. Okay, so how do we do this? We find the spot where we want the link to be and we click links up in the top right. This will display all the links that you have. So that spot we were just in before we came into email templates. Here is the one I created, email confirmation test. When I insert it, voila, there, it just went in. This is this is a merge field. Um, it's now in here twice because I already had it in here when I came in to begin with. So I'm just going to take it out for that reason. You would just put it in and then you'd finish up your email and you click close builder. Now, if you look at the email in the um, viewing pane, doesn't say opt-in underscore 19. It says what I typed in. Please click here to confirm your request for the newsletter. All right. So that's that. Template is done. So we can head out of here. 
and we can go back into campaign builder. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do one more thing. Okay, marketing settings. We were just here a couple of minutes ago because we had to create that automation link. Now we have to create the action set. And then we can go back to campaign builder and finish this up. Okay. So we will click on, I um, can't remember if I said this, so go into marketing settings and then click on action sets. You will click on add an action set, but I've already got the action set prepped, so I'm going to just bring it up and show you what I'm doing. Okay, what action do we want to have run? Well, what we want to do is we want to send out that branded email that we've created over in templates. So from the dropdown, first of all, you'd name it so that you can find it very easily. And secondly, you would configure this by send an email, and then you would find that email you just created in your template list. Okay? So once you've done all that, you save. Okay, the action set is now done. So now we can go finish the campaign. All right, let's go into the sequence. Now let's double click on action set. Let me click on it before because we didn't have the action set prepared. So we would not have found it here in the drop down menu. But here it is now, double opt-in email test. Yours is going to be called whatever you named that action set. Save. And it's done. I'm just going to publish this. And then I'm going to explain exactly what happens. Alrighty, so if we decide to do an email confirmation for a particular campaign strategy and we want to go down the road of having a branded confirmation, this is how we would set it up. We would have people opt in using whatever it is there you have out there for people to opt in with. This is an opt-in uh, external web form. You could, by all means, you could use um, a landing page, you could use a lot of different things, but this is a web form, and that's probably the most common thing. They have said, please send me whatever they've asked to be sent. We want them to confirm their email. So we put out a sequence where we have an action set that delivers an email. The email says, please confirm by clicking this link. When they click the link, there is a tag going on their record. We configured that over when we made the link. This is that tag, so they move on to here and they are tagged for the newsletter. So, in this scenario, um, we have something that is going to take a little bit more time to prep. That's just the reality of it. You notice I had to go out and create um, the custom automation link, had to create an email template, and I had to create an action set. However, once that was all done, I could come back into Campaign Builder and pull everything in very quickly and easily. So I would actually say that, you know, just to be realistic and manage expectations, it is going to take you um, a little bit of time to get all the pieces set up, which you can do by following this particular um, tutorial video. But once the pieces are set up, you're pretty good to go. Um, you know. You can use the same automation link. You can probably use the same email template, and you can use the same action set. So if you have four different campaigns that are doing double opt-in, um, you, you can certainly use the same stuff over and over and over again. So for sure, you know, initial setup is going to take you a bit of time. Because I can't repeat enough, you need to create an automation link, you need to create an email template, and you need to create an action set. But then you're good to go. So, uh, <clears throat> the big takeaway here is people start out in the exact same spot and the end result is the exact same. They're tagged for the newsletter. 
it's that middle. It's how we have them confirm. We either use the um, not branded experience or we create a branded experience. There isn't a wrong answer here. It's a preference, okay, and it's, it's part of your strategy, strategy. So the last thing I'll say is using the tools in your Campaign Builder toolbox, fastest way, easiest way to get this up and running. Creating a branded experience is going to create a branded experience. So <laughs> you need to just kind of weigh out what you're trying to accomplish and then decide which way you want to go. I think the big takeaway here and the reason I've wanted for several weeks to create this is because I want you to know that you have options. I, I work with a lot of um, a lot of customers, but uh, particularly a lot of customers that are new to Infusionsoft. And when we're breaking down the email confirmation, um, you know, we get into that email and, and that's where people discover that they don't have a lot of flexibility on editing that. And um, so I just want to make sure that people are aware that you, you can have that flexibility if you want. And uh, this, these are the steps that you would follow to go ahead and put that into play. So the last thing I'll say is whichever one you're going to go with, that's all you need in the campaign, that or that. So um, if you're doing this at home, don't think I have to have these two lines. Okay, This is an either or. It's not a both. That is going to do it for today, how to create a branded email confirmation in Campaign Builder.